Hi there. Uh, welcome to see how I create the game that I explained in the blog that you have probably just read. We are going to be using the game engine for a very brief uh, demonstration of how to create a labyrinth game. This is the classic game you used to play when you were a kid where you have a, a labyrinth and a little ball and then you can tilt the table with the two knobs and we will be using the arrow keys to tilt our virtual table. So uh, let's get started by adding a plane into the center of the field as such. The size really doesn't matter because everything is going to be more or less um, proportional to the other parts. Then we can view it from the top, go into edit mode and subdivide it a few times so that there's enough of squares on the table, this looks fine. And then we will um, raise the edges above up a little so that the ball doesn't fall off the table. Like so. And then just extrude a little. Now we will leave, uh, we will delete some of these faces in a much a random fashion because if you have no holes on the table it's going to be slightly boring as a game but you can just pick a few of these faces like this uh, and then hit a delete and only faces and now the field is more or less ready the next thing to do is to add the ball shift a oh we are in edit mode Go back into object mode, shift A, and add a UV sphere. If you want to, you can add the segments, maybe 64 segments, and 32, 64, 32, just so that it's a little more round, and then scale it down until it is small enough to fall through the holes. So you can move it around, oops, and uh, into the active element and scale it down until it is sure to fall through the screen, you know, like so. And now uh, all you need to do is to lift it up a little so that the game starts with the ball falling onto the playing field. So this is the setup. That's everything you need at this point. So we can go into the game logic mode and into the game engine itself, like so. And now we can go back and, and make sure that the field looks nice. Hit F12 to see how it looks. Yes, it looks fine. Now you can test your game already. Um, all you have to do is to press the P key and nothing happens. That's because we haven't done anything to the physics yet. So let us make the ball into a rigid object using the physics tab right here on the right hand side and make it a rigid body and it becomes an actor because of course it is an actor now. So when we now start the game it falls onto the playing field and then falls through the hole as we wanted to. You can get out of the game <coughs> play by pressing ESC. So just to see that the, the physics for the table is static. Let's make it an actor anyway. Okay, this is how you set up your, your game environment. Now we can set up the gameplay itself. Uh, first, we will rename the plane as a labyrinth and we will recall, uh, rename the sphere as ball. Now, click on the table and then add a sensor for the keyboard. You want to have the up key, so you can type up key here. If you don't type up key here, all of your sensors are going to be called keyboard, keyboard 001, keyboard 002, and that is, that's not very nice. So always rename something when you create it. Then the up key, press a key like so, and we are merely going to connect the sensor to the actuator. So we will just say and, 
and in the labyrinth we will say motion call it up in the motion as well and we want this table to tilt down on the y uh, axis so we are going to say minus 0 0.2 degrees here on the y axis that's that's all that's all there's there's to it and now we will connect the sensor to the controller and the controller to the actuator without these links which you merely drag between the point and the ring like so without those nothing will happen so now when you test your game press p and then press the up key and you can see that your table tilts nicely so let's just uh, copy the idea by add a sensor keyboard down down key click on the key add a controller and add an actuator i keep the other one open because i want to see what i have to put in here it's 0.2 not minus 0.2 this time but 0.2 like so and i can that close them up like so and add another sensor for the keyboard call it left key like that and then click on the left key and then add and 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 add an actuator and this is going to be along the x-axis so left is going to tilt it to the minus 0.2 minus 0.2 degrees of course if you add more uh, if you be, if you insert bigger values here your table is going to tilt a lot faster it's going to be really hard to uh, to play so you want to test until you find the proper value that you want to want to have here so up down left and add the sensor for the keyboard and the right key click on the right key add an, an and controller and add an actuator motion x 0.2 degrees and connect the last point as as, as you can see here so now our game should be playable so you press p oh yes you can actually play the game you can tilt it both ways you can tilt it up and down as well so if you want to oops you went through so how do you restart the game well you can just play uh, press s and then hit p again or you can add a sensor for the keyboard and call it uh, restart make that for example r an add controller and add an actuator but this one you go for the scene because in the scene you have the mode restart so whenever you have a the ball goes through you can do it like that and now when you play the game you can restart the game if you go if the ball falls through like so you can just hit r and the game will restart so this is this is how easy it is to create a very basic game in, in Blender. I was actually amazed because I had not used the game engine before, but when I, when I got this idea about the Labyrinth game, I did this uh, in about 15 minutes. And now it takes about 10 minutes. So yes, you should uh, try it again uh, for yourself and see how it goes. Also, I will be putting up another video where I show how to detect the ball falling through and playing a sound when you fall through. And then we can maybe add some objects into the, the playing field so that you have to hit the objects and avoid falling through the hole so it becomes more of a game and not just a challenge thanks for watching and bye